court up to the outer court in first heaven. I would like to talk about what happened in 2014. During a convention in our church, there was a guest speaker from Eastern Province that we invited. The theme of the convention was miraculous worship. When the guest speaker was delivering the message about worship he asked the church to worship the Lord in whatever position that is convenient. While I was worshipping the Lord I felt the power that always seizes me when the Lord wants to transport me in a spirit realm. I was caught in the spirit and I was overwhelmed. I did not know that my body was left behind and that it was my spirit that was transported. I found myself in front of a huge golden gate and in front of this massive gate there were many peoples dressed in tatters and dirty clothes. These people seemed to be blind. When I looked around I saw two angels stationed around the golden gate. They had massive wings. These angels were different from angels that I saw previously because their wings were huge. Then I moved closer to where they were standing. They welcomed me and we started to talk. These angels were speaking simultaneously. They were talking at the same time and they were saying the same thing. None of them spoke quicker or slower than the other. There was a synchronicity. They said, you are wondering why we speak at the same time. You want to know who we are. I was still emotional and in wonder, in their presence. I said, yes. They spoke at the same time and they said simultaneously, the scripture was talking about us in the aftermath of the fall of your ancestor Adam. Remember when Adam sinned the Bible said after sending them out the Lord God stationed mighty cherubim to the east of the Garden of Eden and he placed a flaming sword that flashed back and forth to guard the way of the tree of life. We are the cherubim that prevented Adam from using the way that leads to the tree of life. We are going to tell you why we closed the way of life freedom and who and what is our purpose. Genesis 3 verse 22 24 And the Lord God said, Behold, the man is become as one of us, to know good and evil, and now, lest he put forth his hand, and take also of the tree of life, and eat, and live forever. Therefore the Lord God sent him forth from the garden of Eden, to till the ground from whence he was taken. So he drove out the man, and he placed at the east of the garden of Eden cherubims, and a flaming sword which turned every way, to keep the way of the tree of life. The cherubims said to me, Come and see. We moved to a place where I saw a balance. There were two receptacles hanging on the balance containing water. The angels then said, We are going to show you how you came here. We will tell you what is this place and why these people are blind and in tattered clothes and what is the purpose of this balance. The cherubim said to me, The saints of the earth have three powers that enable them to access the courts of heaven. These three powers are three dimensions or means of transportation of believers in the celestial kingdom. The first power which is the first dimension is worship. When you Christians worship the Lord wherever you are on the earth there is a separation between your body and your spirit and you are transported to the region of heaven precisely the outer court. It is written a time is coming and has now come when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth for the Father is seeking such as these to worship him. The second power and dimension that causes you, people of God, to be transported to heaven is prayer. Every time a Christian prays, wherever he is on the earth, there will be a separation between his body and his spirit that will be transported to the outer court of the heavenly kingdom. The third power or dimension that causes Christians to be caught up in the outer court of heaven is the reading and the hearing of the word of God. When you read or hear the preaching of the word of God, things happen in the spirit realm. The reading and hearing of the word of God transport your spirit to the kingdom of heaven. Every time you do these things you end up in the outer court of the celestial kingdom because they are sacred. The angels said, when you go back to earth, tell the preachers, tell the worship leaders, tell the intercessors that they come to heaven every time they pray, every time they read the word of God and worship. Christians do not realize how sacred holy and solemn these three things are. They fail to understand that things happen in the spirit world and that their spirits are literally caught up to the heavens. Therefore you do these sacred things lightly and in a carnal way yet you are taken to the outer court of heaven.
While the cherubim were talking to me a man turned up among the people who were in tattered clothes. The cherubim said to me, This man is alive on earth. He has arrived through worship, meditation of the word and prayer. Christians do not realize that they are a kingdom of priests and a royal priesthood and that they are handling holy and sacred things that have ramifications in the spirit world. The angels said that the church is not educated about sacred and holy things, therefore, Christians are handling sacred and holy things casually. Then the angels asked me, what was your condition before arriving in heaven? I replied that I was in worship. They said, you must always be clean and purify yourself before touching sacred things. The angels told me that many Christians are failing to clean themselves before touching sacred things therefore they are stuck at the outer court. They cannot access the city in the holy of holies. The two angels said, when Adam sinned, God ordered us to prevent him from using the way that leads to the tree of life and the tree of life is Jesus Christ who said I am the way, the truth, and the life. Our purpose is to prevent carnal and unprepared Christians that are landing in the outer court to access the city in the holy of holies. They are failing to purify themselves although they are the royal kingdom of priests and a royal priesthood, yet they are dealing with sacred things like worship, prayers and the meditation of the word. As a consequence, they are landing in the outer court of the celestial kingdom. When I looked around the massive balance I saw water. The angel said, when you arrive in the outer court in a state of holiness we have the duty of washing and cleaning you with the crystal water of life that is on the receptacle of the balance. Then we have to dress you in the garment of the purest white. Afterward, we have to change the composition of your body by clothing you with a body of glory. For the perishable must be clothed with the imperishable, and the mortal with immortality. Even a Christian who walks in holiness has to be washed by the cherubim. While these cherubim were talking to me a man turned up. The cherub reminded me that this man is not dead on earth, he is alive and well. He is transported here in heaven through sacred things. I noticed that the spirits of many people were here in this outer court. They were dressed in torn garments and they were stuck in the outer court of the heavenly kingdom. They could not access the holy of holies like Adam. These people came to church and they did not purify themselves. The cherubim then took the man that was holy and pure. They washed him in the water that was in the receptacle of the balance. I was surprised because this man was already holy. The angels of the Lord read my mind and they said, We are washing this man despite his holiness in order to remove the Adamic nature. He is still a descendant of Adam, therefore, he is still inclined to do evil even if he is holy. The Adamic nature is still in him. Therefore the tendency and disposition to commit sin is still present in him. The angels of the Lord said to me, Every time you come here through sacred things like worship, our task is to destroy and remove the Adamic tendency and inclination, so that you might be worthy to enter the holy and eternal city. The cherubim said, it is our responsibility to stop unworthy believers from entering the gate that separates the outer court and the holy place. There were many people in the outer court but only one was worthy to enter the holy city because he has purified himself. The rest were carnal and unprepared. They were blind and in torn garments. Now after the cherubim finished washing the man they changed his physical countenance by dressing him with a luminous body and garment of light and he was sent through the double door leading to the holy city. Then I saw members of my church assembling in the outer court of heaven through worship but they were not worthy to enter the celestial city where the Lord Jesus Christ was welcoming those who are worthy. Then the angels of the Lord took me, they washed me and dressed me in a shining garment with a glorified body. Then they sent me through the double door leading to the eternal city.